I love how there's like a good three seconds before they're like, wait a second, put me down. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking blood curdling <laughs> scream. That was like a death scream as he just broke that guy's spine against the bridge. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this guy over a bridge. No, I'm not gonna throw him into the fucking railing and snap him in half. It's just like the rabbit all over again. Why did it, why did I like Banshee shriek my fury as I snap that man's spine? You want you wanted to show the guard your intent. It's the fact that you did it two feet in front of a guard as well, actually. And let that be a lesson to you. If you pick up the guard, are they angrier? Welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2, everyone! You've been warned. Oh my god, why did this guy start talking to you when he picked him up? What's up, Donovan? How you doing, Dave? Why are you talking? It looks like he's talking to the guy on our back. <laughs> oh no, he's free. <laughs> Keep talking to me. All right, now, now we can hear you. Why are you whispering this job into my ear from behind? I'll help you, but only if you ask for it sensually. Is that coin in your uh, in your pouch? Or are you just happy to see me, Mr. Donovan? <laughs> you, do you just have like a magnet? <laughs> this is what the ox cart stand looks like. So you're not gonna pay us for the ox cart you're making us take to deliver the letter? Yeah, that seems a bit seems a bit stingy, a bit miserly. What do you mean, seeing as you're doing me a f favor? Like it's literally like part of the it should be part of it. Make yeah. for Melvin deliver the letter. I suppose we don't have to do that with any like time sensitivity. It also occurs to me. Did he give us enough to get back as well, or just enough to get there? Because that's not really... Yeah, that's true. Is it 100 gold or 200 gold? I don't know. Because we're talking to him, he's not speaking, but he's still doing his gestures, he's so still, he's just... It just looks like he's fascinated by hands. How? <sighs> How did I grow them? No! Oh, he's playing rock, paper, scissors with ghosts. Paper covers rock, you see. Rock. Paper. Rock. He will just not shut up, like this man. He will just not shut but up. But he always restarts when you come near, because you gave him money, so he thinks you're the valuable. Well, exactly. So where's he getting his coin? Where's he getting his coin from? I just love that Benton has traveled here to listen to this guy's storytelling, because he cannot fathom a beggar having actual money. And he's like, his stories are shit. There's something wrong with him. He does seem to be hinting at adventures to be had, so maybe we should keep an eye on him. It's time for stealth round two. Ministry time. Hello? I love that this is just the second time we've done this. The first time we didn't get an escort, we just sort of wandered through. Sneaky, sneaky. Do you ever feel like they just like forgot to turn on the stealth section? <laughs> just so casually like, walked. Like it's just a number that says, that says guards will not like you. <laughs> Look, it's all about confidence, all right? We act like we belong here. It's just the fact that the first time you were so sneaky, you at least attempted to be so sneaky. Ooh, what have we stumbled upon? Maybe he just wants to court my favor at 12 in the morning, midnight time. If someone were to overhear, <laughs> imagine. Wait, does that mean that he's not in his office anymore? Because we just looked at him in there. You heard that Allard was summoned by someone. Yeah, we know he was summoned by. What are you doing in here? I think it's possible he that he did not yet leave. <laughs> I thought he was in another room. I think he noticed you anyway. Oh, no. Oh. Will people be upset if I use the key? Well, they're not upset that you got out of a prison cell, I guess. Well, clearly, a, a prisoner wouldn't be out of the prison cell, so I can't be a prisoner. Well, yeah, I guess the idea is if, if if you have a key, then you must be someone who should have a key. So where's our equipment? Probably in a chest somewhere. Oh! Oh, we just had to leave. I love that we even keep all our, like, conspiratorial letters and parchments. Oh, yeah, of course. They don't read your things. That'd be rude. This is official business. I am a god. So are you the former magistrate or no? Have you come to release me from Just based on the, the way he's talking, that's definitely the guy we're after. Well, you can look at our chest scar, I guess. <laughs> oh. Oh, ooh. Wait, we, he looked at Oh, wow, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow, we did actually stick <laughs> yeah, Just like, well, you're going to have to curry my favor in some way. And then we flashed him and he was like, yep, that's an arisen right there. I know you've been in this prison alone for a while. So, boy, do I have a treat for you. This reminds me of the last time I saw a woman's breasts 148 years ago. <laughs> during the reign of Regent Delvond. <laughs> Okay, so we need to find a place for him to go before we tell him to leave. I'm not going to break out of prison. Fuck you. Find me a library. We need, yeah, we need to find an extradition-free library. 
That's so interesting. <laughs> Literally, the quest just said, find a place with books. So I'm thinking we should go... It's making me nervous. The quest is making me very nervous. I don't know what this symbol means, and I'm concerned. <laughs> yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm scared of the flashing, unlike that guy in that cell. He's now willing to stay in the cell and hopes <laughs> it happens again. I'll help you, as long as every two days... You return, and so do your little friends. <laughs> Master... Pray let me know beforehand if you're going to jail. <laughs> Come to admire my sculptures, have you? No, Clark. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> you said everyone who walks down the street? We're just walking down the road, buddy! Also, how do you know that we're the Arisen? We're not supposed to be, like, yelling that around the place right now. <laughs> I have no care about you or anything you I guess done. we'll get you a sculpture from another country then. Yeah, well, whenever we're hanging around in Batal, man, we'll remember you and uh, don't you worry about oh, it. Oh, well, I'd love you to see my collection, but it can't it, you can't see it before it's finished. If you're in a rush, you could maybe just make a trip over here and get the final sculpture for me, if, if you must. <laughs> Only if you want to, of course, because you love my sculptures so much. I feel like you should check if this is in any way what you're looking for before you just sit down. <laughs> I don't even think that's a rideable like like the intended argument. It's just an, a cart that is parked in Look, the seat. Look, I see a seat. I'm going to sit in the seat. What are you, a cat? Are you a cat? <laughs> oh, it's got a roof and everything. Who the hell are you? <laughs> How dare someone else travel on this? Yeah, I guess there's not enough seats for the pawns because we don't pay for them, do we? Onwards. I'm going to have a sleep now. I hope you get to the right place on time. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Bloody hell. Okay, it's not that bad. That's not... Okay, I mean, relatively speaking, if we weren't here, it would be very bad. How did it sneak up on us? I, don't, I think it's less than it snuck up on us, and that's just how long it took them to wake us up. Ooh, I'm going to decant its ass. Oh, get it right in the ass. Suck the life out of it. Oh, you're sucking the life out of its Yeah. Head. Oh. Mm. Oh, God, I'm drinking its knee. I, mm. I, think, yes. I think that's doing oh, good things. Oh, it does actually like it's doing a solid amount of damage, doesn't it? Oh, it's probably percentage-based, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's uh, hard out here being the Arisen. It oh. doesn't even drain stamina. You can just do this. This is just excellent. Oh, really having to put in a lot of work. Now I'm just imagining you know, four sorcerers just holding this. Excellent, you know. Oh. <laughs> you just sucking that boy out his foot. Oh, oh yes. I'm draining him dry. Don't you worry You're about it. You're sucking that Cyclops' toes and he's just dying. God, this is a yummy Cyclops. My God. I'm just throwing ice cubes <laughs> up its literal ass. You've not lived till you've tasted Cyclops' feet. Meanwhile, I'm just swinging a flaming greatsword. Perplexed that this doesn't have an ongoing stamina cost. Yeah, you'd think there would be something to just prevent you from holding this permanently. Then again, perhaps perchance we're not actually doing damage, and it's all of the other people fighting that are. Uh, that's, what, that's what I meant when I mentioned the deceiving part. But it just seems too consistent not to be a, at least like some of it is us. Please stop. Like I, I, I think I think it's I think it's not much, but it is doing damage. All right, where shall I suck him next? Try the eye. Oh, the ass, right in the ass. Oh yeah. We threw an ice cube up there earlier, so that'll probably come out. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's contributing. It, genu it genuinely is doing a lot more damage than when you weren't doing that. So <laughs> this is amazing. Why is this suck so effective? <laughs> Give me your soul. Absolutely excellent. Excellent. That's surprisingly potent. I mean, there's no way it's like a health percent thing, right? Because then if you use it on really big things, it would be... Sorry, is that person okay? Life's been pretty kind to me, come to think of it. <laughs> you know, up to this point. <laughs> you know, compared compared to this current moment, I have no complaints. I'm glad it didn't destroy the cart. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Whoa, 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 whoa. They're leaving. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Oh, okay. There's more enemies. That makes more oh, it's just a, It's just a shield oh, goblin oh. jumping on people. Onwards, everybody. I like just the, the occasional ox sounds. I'm glad it's so calm about this. Hmm? I think there's another fight. But we're at Melv. Oh. Oh. I think I might have worked it out. What? Oh. Why is a dragon attacking Melv? And why does it have pustules? Yeah, that is not the standard dragon. Excuse me? I feel like we want to be a part of this, probably. You know what? Yeah, I think we just need to absorb this dragon. So why does this dragon have pustules? I thought that might indicate it was like a poison dragon or something, but it's spewing fire. Breath. Yeah, but it's also spewing out like rot puddles. Is it like in, is it like injured injured by something? Maybe it's just a sick dragon. It is a pretty sick dragon, man. It is, I I just wasn't expecting to see a random dragon. So no, early. this is ridiculous. Like generally speaking, there was like there was like little drakes, but for the most part, the only dragon is the dragon. Come on, give me your face, give me your face. Sucking some. Mouth. As much as I don't want to absorb your cysts. No, just get some drool. Just get some dragon. 
post. No, that's not good. <laughs> no, it's that not. You know what? Well, I mean, you, you, are, you are suck. You are sucking it if that helps. You know, you're not feeling that. Not, not the, uh... Well, look, I'm not in control of my body in this world. Oh my day! But you appear to be climbing around the right area. <laughs> you're so. I'm glad there's a fairly, from the looks of things, competent, high-level, powerful group of NPCs here. I think the guys are helping more than we're giving them credit for. Well, to be fair, this fight was happening before we got here. God, if we'd not taken this ox cart quest, would this dragon have just ruined this it's village? It's just been here for a few days, you know? Oh, God. Okay, okay, that's all good. That's all good. That's all fine. I feel like the lightning mine is doing a lot to him. How are we fighting a rock dragon? Yeah, this is definitely unexpected. Can you jump in there, or...? Oh, have we repelled it? I was going to say, surely it, it, it's the type of thing that would leave if you do enough rather than just fighting oh, forever. But it would have given us so much experience. I knew you'd come. You of course, don't you worry about it. Yeah, we were given a quest to. Hey, Lenart, we've got a letter for you. Could someone please explain why the dragons and drakes just really fucking hate Melv? It's just something about this place, you know? Visit Melv from time to time. It might be getting destroyed. Oh, is this a mystic spear hand? It does look sort of mystic spear handy, doesn't he? So he's just for dragons, like... Oh! Yeah. So you just unlock it by talking to him? That's incredible! We just unlocked mystic spear hand! Yeah, that's cool. Why is everyone so calm about this? I mean, it is the second time in the last week. Like, the first time, it's fucking insane. The second time, it's just sort of an annoying. Yeah, second time it's like, oh, this again? I just rebuilt my house. Let it to Lenart. There you go. I love the ox, the ox cart arrived and everyone jumped off screaming to go help. <laughs> and we were just like, what's going on? Is there some sort of fight happening? I suppose now we go tell him that we did indeed deliver the leather. The leather? The leather, yes, the leather. Very strange that uh, Donovan asked you to deliver me some leather, but thank you. I wonder if that's the way to unlock Mystic Spearhand or a way to unlock Mystic Spearhand. I can imagine you get you get a different person who shows up every time the dragon shows up, because now it's just like, visit Melv from time to time, maybe. Just, just maybe. maybe. Every time you visit Melv, it's getting absolutely ruined, and a different hybrid vocation is, is helping protect it. Every, every couple of days, there, there might be a different dragon here. See, I am wondering if the dragon was anything to do with the... Was anything to do with the letter quest and that just happened to give us a reason to go back here. The dragon will just happen based on how it is and the letter quest is sort of them pushing you in the right direction while it's happening. Change vocation. Well only the Arisen can excel at this vocation. Oh yeah only the Arisen. Yeah look you can't be it. Yeah. So maybe pawns can't be hybrids. Interesting. I wasn't even listening to you talk I was just looking at your new vocation that you apparently learned from that guy that we saw attacking a dragon Though to be fair, they did say that, like, it was saying specifically Mystic Spearhand is, like, as a fighting style, is designed for fighting a dragon, was what he was saying. So maybe that's just how you meet him specifically. Mm, that's a really good point. And we'll probably find the trickster doing something else. There's the magic archer as well. I quite like the look of magic archer. Oh, I bet you the trickster is, like, a like a beastrin country thing. Like, it, it gives me that kind of vibe of magic. I love that the, uh, the one cloth seat is the one reserved for us, by the way. Yeah. Are we going to make it without being molested? Harassed? Bloody Saurians. Well, it's fine. I'm glad they didn't molest us. Oh my god, it's a very normal thing to say in the context of combat. I don't, there's just better. I feel like there's better words for it. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, especially saying that as you're about to go to sleep on a cart. It's just like, there's, other, there's just other things that can mean in that context. Now as I doze off, let me just think of all the worst things that could happen as we travel back Ooh, to. Uh, I can um, contract a deadly illness. Really? You guys woke me up for that? The guards could handle two Saurians. What happens if you just go sit on the bench and go to sleep while they're fighting the Saurians? Like, All I'll right. let them have that. Now we can actually see how much healing it does. That's not bad. Oh, really good healing. Especially for something that you can just, like, never run out of. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm starting to think the damage was never that good, and we were just seeing everyone else's damage pour in. I don't know. I, I, I still think it's... Stop it! Stop it! Come back! Okay. I still think it's entirely possible it's percentage of some sort. Why are all the pawns waiting outside? Uh, they weren't allowed to ride the cart, so... Hey, we did it. Also, there was a dragon. If he's been literally waiting here standing beside the ox cart stand the entire time, he could have just done that himself. No, I guess not the dragon part, but that couldn't have been predicted. Is he just going to keep calling the minister over every night now? Like, we just got sent to jail and then stopped doing it. Well, I assume we're going to talk to Brad and he's going to recommend us a place that has the knowledge this guy seeks. I'm talking about the thing that got us sent to prison in the first place, the, the magistrate's quarters and the castle that we were spying. Yeah, we're going to try again next night, of course. I'm going to tell him I need to see him in my quarters every night from midnight. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a really good point. Hmm. Oh, we were almost there. Probably should have just gone for it. Hooey! <laughs> I wonder if you get woken up and attacked in the night at your camp. I, I have to imagine probably based on the way this game treats danger. 
Like, this game definitely, like, it leans a bit more on the side of realism on mechanics like that and a bit more on the side of player and just, like, feeling good in the immediate moment gameplay. He's like a double axe. Yeah, he's a, he's a thief with axes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say goodbye to Spider-Man. That's understandable. I think Spider-Man could use a break. Specializations are skills that can only be acquired by pawns. They're not strictly beneficial. So is it, like, unlocking more personality types for your pawn? My god. Well then. That's one way to kill a goblin. And it sure is a way to kill them. I'm going to absorb your soul, thanks to you. And I offer you my protection. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That's the last we ever saw of that goblin. Yeah, yeah quite. A, I would say yeah, so. I think maybe having some extra DPS on the fourth pawn might might actually be the way to yeah, go. Yeah, it definitely doesn't hurt. I mean, I thought fighter would be somewhat DPS, but I, I guess the need of a tank is lessened by there being four people as well. Oh, oh, I... I, I, I. <laughs> Oh. A bit much, don't you think? Yeah, I... <laughs> what, are you okay? what, what even? What even? What even are they? And it's like, like that statues. laughing wolf meme, you know, the too serious one? And yeah. Then the, and then the... yeah, it is. <laughs> Except it's, it's frozen and burned to death. Well, you know, tomato, tomato. I don't think you can do that with tomatoes or tomatoes. Frozezo frittato. Stop for dating things. Oh, is it this chest on this boat? Well done. I love that pawns could have experiences in other players' worlds and then come to yours and tell you about yeah. them and you can be like, show me. It is a really cool mechanic for a game with like hidden stuff and like side objectives and collectibles. Like it feels like such a natural move. What the hell is that? Oh, is that a minotaur? Oh, I think it is. Oh my God. It's a minotaur. It's a minotaur with a giant axe. Look I love him. it. Oh, look at him. <laughs> he's great. I love bovine creatures. Go in, please. It's not about you. I mean, he's got more health than the Cyclops. Ow! Yeah, oh my god. Ow! I feel like his moveset is definitely more threatening than the Cyclops as well. Yeah, you are just allowed to heal if you go to zero. That's a, I, I, I like that as a mechanic. Yeah, I think you genuinely are. Like, it just there is like a grace period. Oh, he's down, he's down, he's down! Ooh. I don't know why I'm saying that for anyone. Like, there's no one that needs that information. We broke his horn off as well! I'm stabbed, I'm stabbed. Oh, oh, the big charge attack. Nice. What are, what are you doing? Are you just air running while attached to it? Don't ask me questions. Yeah, he sets on fire from just one flame. Throw. Yeah, he must be really weak to fire, then. <laughs> what a what a weak guy. Just one whole flamethrower sets him on fire. I mean, honestly. Most things can survive a bit more than that, I would say. So, but let's... let's uh, Let's let's make this a little bit. There we go. And he's down again. All right. Now oh, is the uh, kill. We're not even here for this minotaur, but you know, I'll take a free minotaur. Yeah, exactly. Like you can't say no to a free. You minotaur. can't say no to a free minotaur. If it shows up, he shows up. Hunter's bow and a plumed cap. Damn. Yeah. That that seems like it actually like gave us some stuff properly. It's a fancy minotaur. He was holding things. Secrets, perhaps. Oh yeah, we've got around the wall. We've made it to the village. This is where the fake arisen came from, they say. Nameless village. A mysterious settlement. Similar symbols, though. Maybe they've deliberately blocked off the road. I don't want people coming want here. To stay hidden, mysterious, with their pulsing trees. Yeah, I don't want people to find their trees and steal them. Anything suspicious? Any Anything fake arisen -y around here? Hmm? Any children come from these parts, perhaps? Who the hell are you, leany man? Suspicious. Only suspicious types lean on fireplaces. You found me out far sooner than... I just talked to you because you were leaning against the fireplace. Why is this village so randomly well connected? Well, it is where the fake Arisen is from. Oh, he probably is like a thief. Like, he's trained in deception, which is why they got him from Oh, here. this man knows everything. I feel like we've literally wandered into the Hidden Leaf Village. And that's why they can't, like, speak out about, like, the Arisen not being from their village, because they're, they refuse to take any side in political matters. So it's the perfect place to say that they're from. Why am I worthy of inheriting your ultimate technique? I've just met you. I mean, if someone wants to teach you their ultimate technique, you can't just say no, right? <laughs> no, I guess it would, it would be rude not to. Come on, then. Mr. Flawed, what's the ultimate technique? Yeah, like, he, he knows things. Legends Opus. Where is this Legends Opus? Maybe you have to... Here we go. Uh, a tome detailing an exceptional ability for thieves. Use it to learn Blades of the Pyre. So we're not the uh, thief vocation, so it doesn't do anything for us. No, but apparently he was uh, just instantly willing to give us the legendary skill for the thief vocation. We're just, we're just that charismatic, you see. You know, it's, it can't be helped. We just have that vibe about us. This guy was just leaning up against a fireplace. He decided to talk to him because he looked a bit suspicious, and he was just like, You've caught me. I will tell you everything. Here's the secret of my lineage. <laughs> You are worthy to carry on my name and technique. Good day. I can tell after seeing you for five seconds that you are my successor, my heir to the fortune. Sir, I'm not even a thief. Well, then you might as well be, because you're stealing this one. <laughs> you're the outsider. My lord, come on, follow me. 
I, I guess so. We are the out outsider. Sure, random child. Let's go. God, I love following random children to places that they wanted me to go to. This definitely is not nothing to do with the fact that this is like a thieves' town. There's no way this is some sort of ambush or trap of some sort. Where, where did this random child go? That's so annoying. We got caught by this person while we we're in a house. So I have no idea where they're actually stood, and I have no idea where they just. I mean, went they to. can't have gone too far without us, right? You would think. Presumably, that was whatever we had to actually learn. I mean, if we here. just go back to where it was, we can probably figure out the path they would have taken at least, because they wouldn't just like run over things you can't travel. Nameless village oh, depths. Or, or we can find it accidentally, just as a coincidence. Excuse me. Oh, I love boulder traps. Yeah, a precarious balance beam with swinging rocks above them. Unfortunately for them, you can levitate. It's a cool wipeout course, though. <laughs> I've always wanted to be on wipeout. They are like seesaws. It is like a proper, like... <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. All right, here we go. I imagine you're supposed to use the left one so that you actually get close to it. Then, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Why on Wipeout do they not simply just levitate over the big red balls? Uh, I really like that, the, the actual setup of this. You're supposed to, like, go from one to the other to balance them along, and you, you just, you know, you can skip it. <laughs> I'm just picturing, like, the internet being full of clips of, this is the most difficult part of the game, and you just doing that. This seems... Also, yeah, this, uh... Official. Seems like some sort of hidden order, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, first meet. What's he holding? What is happening to your... I, what is... I, I'm what is... so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. What is in your hand? I'm I'm so scared. What is, what are you holding? What is, why does it have like whiskers occasionally? What is happening? I'm so scared. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Do you like my big wide skin flap? I think you should see a doctor. Oh, thank God. He's absorbed it back into himself. That's good. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't come back out. <laughs> Look at this in the background. Yes, yes. Very well done. Yes, yes. Excellent performance. Fantastic. Stop clapping. We're trying to talk. Nope. This is how I exercise all day long. <laughs> Oh, really? Hi, sorry. Um, do you have five dollars for the ox cart? I, I'm a bit late. <laughs> I like it's a child. Oh my god! Stop for a moment. Hmm? The texture of the, of the of the 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 sewing on that flag is actually fucking incredible. Oh wow! Yeah, it really just looks like fabric. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is a divine piece of fabric over there. Are we just not going to pay attention to it? I just looked over it and I could see like actual thread. And it was just this moment of, I don't know if I've ever seen something like that in a video game on cloth before, but that looks incredible. There's books here. I wonder if this counts for... Oh, I bet what you need to find is like... I bet you there's a mage equivalent of this because there's always like a mages guild type thing. And obviously the mages place will be the place with all the books because that's where the I learning think happens. Actually, oh, wow. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. That's a big rat. Yeah, we couldn't go down that hole. We weren't allowed. Oh, it was this house. Oh, okay. We just didn't. We just didn't go through the hidden door. Is it a hidden door? If you close that, is it just like look like the wall? I don't know. It's just a door that we just didn't go through. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Whoopsie. A little bench sleep. Hey, man. Oh, okay. Not much sleeping. It turns out. Noticed you there. Dude, you could have woken us up. You didn't have to just post up on the barrel. Why did he? Why did we hand him it? And then he goes. This appears to be the thing that you've handed me. I don't understand. Does this not look like exactly what you were trying to get? Yes, I thought of all of that right now and right here. It was always my intention. Yeah, that's what... That's why I brought you this bill of arrest. It feels... It, it feels like he's, he's like this little guard. It's like, we found this. And it's like, I don't understand. Unless... Of course, this is your plan. You had, you're brilliant. Yeah, that's that's the one, right? Yeah, implement it right now, Brad. It's just like an apple seed. Of course, you're brilliant. You want me to plant a tree in the garden that will slowly grow until it is high enough for you to reach the window from it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you use the item known as Dragon's Gaze, Wakestone Shires will be displayed on your map. Bear in mind over the number and location can be found. Oh. oh. So now we can just find them all. I do also like how you can just not have it on as well. All right, that's everything done for him. Isn't this Kendrick guy the one that's supposed to tell us where the books are? Maybe if you give him food? Have a single raspberry. Ah. Uh, Perhaps. Does it have to do with the library, maybe? Your face looks real nice in my staff. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good place for it. He's in some strange part of the building. Could I ask you to search this building you've never been to instead of me who has been here for years? <laughs> Forgive me, but I cannot guide you from here. He could always ask Selma where the child is. Selma, what is it? What do you know? Do you know this Malcolm Lab? Have you have you seen a child? Go on, boy. Go on, boy. <laughs> Stiff him out. Stiff him out, Selma. Where is he? Malcolm's trapped in a well. <laughs> <laughs> is he actually going to lead us? I think we are leaving our, our objective area now.
Oh, Daphne's an important person. Yeah, Daphne keeps coming up. Oh, Daphne was in uh, the, the big cart. We have found a bunch of flowers. Did, I swear we found a bunch of flowers. There you go. Are you never going to look at me? No, she's looking at the flowers. We have so much silver rocks. Sure. I'll just, whatever you want, you know, I'll just keep bringing you. Oh, damn it. We also put, we also put that in the storage. Daphne, could you, could you just in advance give me a list of things that you might require? I love how today has just been like a string of we've been given a quest and then we accidentally wind up on another quest and then another quest and then another quest. Look, that's the hallmark of every good RPG. Like we started by being stealthy in a castle and we have not gone back to that. Oh my god, yeah, we started by getting arrested and we're still- <laughs> Now we're giving it- now we're giving ore to a child. We started by sneaking into a castle, getting arrested, and now we're fetching Sylvan off for an office. Yeah. So we got arrested, sent to the prison, at, from which we let ourselves out with the key we had prepared <laughs> to then- then start freeing another prisoner who then said, mm, I don't want to come out unless you can find me a place with books. So then we went to find a place with books, but there was a child missing. <laughs> mm, you're the bastard child of a noble, aren't you? That would explain yeah. the things people have been saying. Yeah, that might actually be. Ooh, yeah. okay. Oh, oh, if you need it, what could you possibly need? Mayhap we ought to pay her another visit sometime soon. Agreed. We should return to the child in a couple days. I like that her hands were empty, but clearly in one hand she was supposed to be holding a bunch of flowers, and in the other one a piece of silver ore, and she's just staring at them. <laughs> Report back to Kendrick. Vault rubble treasure. That's, those were the words I said, yeah. Come. I fear there's not a mo Pray, follow me, and quickly. Sure, go! Okay. <laughs> what? He just went in a circle. It is that, it is that fucking rubble pile. <laughs> Look there, a hole, quickly. What? He said we might be able to squeeze through. Did he have a rethink and just annihilate it? He's found a secret room that no one will know about filled with books. I've found so many books. The fact, the fact that we were told to talk to this guy before they even found this room is hilarious, though. I really expected this to be, like, a much larger, like, sort of, oh no, it's a dungeon type of moment. Yeah, I did as well. Especially with all the Wakestone shards on our map. How interesting. You're looking for somebody worthy of a lot of books, and we're looking for a place with a lot of books for somebody who's got a very tight sense of justice. If How only. unusually convenient. <laughs> if only we could solve both these problems with one And interestingly, one they're sitting in an unlocked prison cell looking for somewhere they can go out of the prying eye of the guards. And you say your vault is underground. And you want it to be a secret? I don't know about you, but I'm I'm out of it. I, I've got nothing. I have no idea how we can solve these issues. I don't know how we're supposed to ever get away with the situation. Mr. Kendrick might have some ideas. Maybe we should ask him. Well done, Malcolm. Thank you. I dig around places. That's very unrealistic. That child has not found a library and gone, Oh my god! Holy shit, it's treasure! I fucking love reading! Books, books, books! I mean, statistically, as a orphan urchin, he probably doesn't even know how to read. I'm just saying. So he probably doesn't. He probably thinks that books are treasure as an urchin as well. Maybe he's like, that's right. I don't know how to read. I'm hoping to learn from this escapade. That, or I don't understand what this is, so it must be treasure. I can't help, like, it feels like these two things were so inexplicably tied together. It's like, I refuse to leave jail until you find me somewhere with a lot of books. And then just the discovery of a vault full of books. Oh, they've locked it again. It just, it works too well. Well, yeah, they, they realized it was unlocked and he was just in it. Are you going to follow me, or...? Just, uh, just take him outside. I just, what's his issue? I mean, I, I feel like he wants to go the other direction, and he's now just confused. Like, I don't think he's he's pathed for this area. I love that when you're dressed as a prisoner, no one stops you from leaving the prison. <laughs> you can be carrying someone dressed as a prisoner, and... Oh, this is good. You can put me down. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so sudden. I really don't think we did that how they wanted us to do that. Oh, no, we absolutely didn't do what they wanted us to, but we did complete the objective. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh... I, we... We managed to do the simple quest of not actually the one we started trying to do. But that's that's okay. No, the second one, though. The second one we started trying to do. The second one? Whoa! <laughs> let it not be ever said that we don't make serious progress. And let me tell you, we convinced that man to accept a free and easy break out uh, of jail. For now then, uh, thank you very much for watching. Like if you enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a goodbye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes. I said entertainment twice.
to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye